The 9mm Ammo Quest is back after a brief holiday hiatus where I will continue my search for the best, most effective personal defense ammunition from a 3-inch barrel 9mm pistol. Now, I know there's a lot of ammo tests done out there on longer barrels, but I'm trying to find what works best in the micro pistols. And I had run a test on Hornady Critical Duty. In fact, I believe I started this series with Critical Duty. And uh, the results were kind of, which was really surprising, you know, because I expected critical duty. Boy, that, that'll be great. But no, it totally overpenetrated. It was no good. So immediately the request started pouring in, test the plus P version. That should do better. Well, it may. Guess what? We're going to find out today because I've got the critical duty plus P, which is the 135 grain flex lock bonded version with the polymer tip which is supposed to aid expansion and guarantee uh, consistent expansion and we're going to run it in the 10 percent organic ballistic gelatin prepared to fbi specifications done exactly right prepared right mixed right stored right shot right calibrated right everything done exactly the way it's supposed to be done and we're going to find out does the plus p make a difference and does it elevate this from being critical duty up to something that you'd actually want to use in a short barrel pistol let's head to the range and find out the critical duty plus p's yeah, we got some good and we got some bad. We got two that were great at 16 inches and a third one, which was actually very good at 17 inches. Then we had one that had some substantial over penetration, 18 and three quarters. Remember, 18 inches is our cutoff. We want a 12 inch minimum. Ideally, around 15, 16 inches would be perfect. Uh, 18 inches, absolute maximum. So we got two at 16, one at 17, one at 18 and three quarters. And then we got a bad one. Uh, totally did not expand. Flew to 27 and a quarter inches. I know it doesn't really look like it from this camera angle, but that's because of the angle of the camera to show you the other ones, but also the refraction of the gel. But when I lined it up and measured it directly through, it was 27 and a quarter inches. And that's going to rule it out of contention right there. Once again, though, Awfully good uh, reason to test multiple rounds. If I'd only fired one round and it stopped at 16 inches, I, you know, I'd come to the conclusion critical duty plus P is perfect. Uh, but you fire five rounds, you find out that three of them are good, one's bad, and one's terrible. Yeah. The denim just really interfered with it and beat the tar out of it. And that's the way with three of the five recovered bullets. They're substantially beat up now that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world I mean it, it, they do have sharp edges and they could cut tissue but that's not how they're supposed to work so it's not ideal I mean even this one this one came close but it does still have a couple petals sticking out which is not bad this one here performed the way it's supposed to and it did make a difference I mean the plus P rating gave us an additional 100 feet per second and it resulted in a little more expansion uh, the standard pressures did about 0 0.409 inches this one on average is about 0.425 the other ones it's difficult to get a realistic measure of their actual size uh, because of the irregularity but this is the real problem i mean even though three of these did okay in penetration one of them over penetrated and that's bad and i would have ruled it out anyway but going over 27 inches failing to expand nothing good i can say about that I, i've tested a lot of critical defense a lot of critical duty and i gotta say i don't really see the value in the polymer tip i've tested a lot of a lot of hollow points obviously only hornadies have the polymer tip and they are not proving to be any more reliable in expansion than other rounds are so maybe there's some theoretical reason for it but in practical terms i don't really see the point i certainly wouldn't buy polymer tipped ammunition over a better performing non-polymer tipped ammo um, but that's the report and the report is not good it's a big disappointment uh just did not deliver the goods from the short barrel 
Okay, so I only got one that actually expanded properly, and even then it's tiny. It's 0.425 inches average diameter. Uh, the rest of them, the denim just beat them to crud. I mean, this is for a bonded bullet. This is the Flexlock bonded bullet. I did not expect it to turn out this way, and what I really didn't expect is one of them, you know, despite the vaunted polymer tip that's supposed to ensure uh, you know, the, the bullet doesn't get clogged and supposed to give you more assurance that it will actually expand. It just didn't on this one. It went 27 and a quarter inches. So I got to say critical duty, whether it's plus P or not, uh, is not appropriate for a short barrel, which shouldn't really be a surprise because right in Hornady's own uh, question answer section, they when they delineate the difference between critical defense and critical duty, they say critical duty is optimized for police pistols, uh, duty pistols, whereas critical defense is optimized for short barrel. I found critical defense to be an excellent performer from the three-inch barrel, and I'm finding critical duty to be a great big critical don'ty. It just isn't appropriate for the short barrel. But I have found rounds that are. So stick with it. Uh, hit subscribe. Stay tuned. You're going to see other ammo tests. You'll see some that perform much, much better than this. So uh, thanks for watching, and... Stay tuned.